Sugar interview time with Katrina Parker. Very excited to have you back. Now, we wanted to discuss your new upcoming album, which is released on September 10th, which is like two, it's three Tuesday. Days Tuesday. It's coming this really coming quickly. Tuesday, you can get your al yeah. her album on iTunes, on Amazon. Yeah, it's In and Out of the Dark. It's the title track and the single, and it's actually already out on iTunes. And it's August actually, 13th. Yeah, you're good. I remember good. when we were talking about it, and Watch I immediately it. downloaded it. It's really good. It, it reminds me of, um, it's melancholy but upbeat. So something that like if I was on a road trip to Santa Cruz, I'd want to listen to it. And then also, I want to talk about your performance, because I read in a number of different media outlets, articles, that when you performed recently at Universal City Walk, that a lot of the concert goers were moved to tears. That's oh. crazy. I don't, I, should I be happy about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you make people cry. I don't know, I mean, it was, it was, it was crazy because we did a lot of upbeat stuff. It was a pretty, I feel like what I'm doing right now is like pop rock, and then of course we have some ballads and some kind of indie rock mixed in. But we only did about two or three ballads, but Getty Images got this great shot of a couple crying. And they just couldn't get over it. I think they just didn't expect it at City Walk at a live concert. Right. So that was a huge compliment. That For was a fun you, night. Though, are you aware of it when you're singing, or was it after when you saw like, the picture? It was people? after when so someone pointed out there was a photo, and then someone else actually pointed out another couple that was crying kind of towards the front. Wow. So it's just, it's kind of odd, but I like it. Have you ever been moved while performing to tears? I feel like at that point, you're just being self indulgent. If you're singing <laughs> and you're performing and you move yourself to tears, then no, that's just that's gross. So <laughs> I do have a song actually on the album that's about, you know, an uncle that passed away. Aww. And it's kind of about his marriage to my aunt. They've been together like 50 years. And sometimes I'll admit I want to go to that point. But I think if you do, you are getting a little self indulgent. Yeah. Now, what was your inspiration for In and Out of the Dark? You know, it's really about the good, the bad, and the ugly of the last like three or four years of my life. You know, the time pre The Voice where I wasn't singing and I was having to take a break from doing music and things were just really hard. Being on The Voice, which was wonderful and also terrifying and one of the most awkward things I've ever done, but really changed me for the better. And then since then, where I've really had to learn to be scrappy and be an entrepreneur and like take charge of my life and you know do and music full time, it was like jumping off a cliff for me. And I've been able to do it, so it's been kind of amazing. So I think I feel like it's kind of about that. It's about coming out of something kind of hard and becoming a stronger person and kind of feeling kind of born again. Just for people at home that aren't familiar with the album, that want to download it, what artists can you compare it to? I would say we, I mean, I worked with two different producers. One was a pop producer. And the stuff I did with him is kind of radio friendly. It's more along the lines of Pink mm -hmm. or Imagine Dragons. Mm -hmm. And then I did a couple of indie rock tunes with another producer, which are kind of along the lines of the Black Keys. And then ballads that are kind of Christina Perry, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, it's, there's a little bit of everything. Yeah. I think because I was able to fan fund it and really be in control of it, I was able to put a lot of variety on it. But what holds it together is my voice as a singer and a songwriter and a person. Wow, so. isn't that so cool to be able to do all of it? I love it. And already I'm just saying, because the Kickstarter people already got their copy, so I'm getting their feedback. And every person has a different song. And I feel like it's like, you know, it's every demographic. I have people like in their 60s. I have people who are like teenagers who are super excited about it. And they all have different songs they love. So yeah. September 10th, you can get yes. her album on iTunes, on Amazon. What was the other? Um, Google Play. Google Play. Yeah. You can get her album. Hopefully. And then also KatrinaParker.com. Visit her. And then we have your Twitter handle below. And um, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank Congratulations. You. Thanks. And if anyone's in LA, they should come out. The CD release show is Tuesday night, 9 10, at Hotel Cafe, 8 p.m. You should come out if you're in LA. Oh. Me and the band, and they're pretty handsome. My goodness. Well, I'm going to see I'm you, girl. Thanks. Yeah, I am there. <laughs> all right, thanks again for being here. Thank, thank you. you guys for watching. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.